And the news of David Carr just comes one day after the news of Bob Simon. As we remember him with new information, the highly respected television newsman survived decades as a foreign war correspondent but died in a car crash last night. CBS 2's Jessica Schneider live on the west side for us with new details on the accident and the driver. Jessica. Well, Christine, renowned CBS newsman Bob Simon was traveling in the back of that Lincoln town car just before 7 o'clock last night when it slammed into that center pedestrian median. The impact knocked Simon unconscious and then took the 73-year-old's life. We're going to pick up an American. All we know about him is that he's at Firebase Andrews. He circled the world as a foreign correspondent and longtime storyteller for 60 minutes. Bob Simon had a passion for reporting and his family. He's seen here with his wife, Francoise, and daughter, Tanya, a producer at 60 Minutes who was working with Simon on a story about Ebola for this Sunday's broadcast. He adored his grandson, Jack, and was expecting another grandchild. His daughter, Tanya, is six months pregnant. He was on his way to a medical lecture on Ebola downtown Wednesday night. His driver, Skyline livery car employee, 44-year-old Abdul Rashad Fadahi. Fadahi's TLC and driver's license were both valid, but he had two recent traffic violation convictions and nine license suspensions that have all been cleared. But three sources tell CBS2 Fadahi was injured years ago and lost use of his left arm. Investigators say Fadahi was driving a 2010 Lincoln Town car south when he brushed a Mercedes sedan driven by this man, 23-year-old Zach Miller. Miller told investigators on the scene Fadahi suddenly accelerated forward, crashing into the median. The NYPD says Simon was not wearing a seatbelt and was violently thrown from the back seat to the front of the car. Taxi passengers often forego back seat seatbelts, but safety experts warn that's dangerous. Always wear a seatbelt in the back seat. There's a phenomenon known as a back seat bullet. The vehicle runs into something, the vehicle stops, anybody with a seatbelt on stops. If you don't have the seatbelt, you keep going until you impact something. Now, there are actually no skid marks out here to indicate speed, and police say there are no signs of any mechanical failure, but investigators are looking at the black lock box from the Lincoln town car that might give some indication as to mechanical and braking data. Police also want to talk to any witnesses who may have seen this. In the meantime, the driver is now recovering from surgery and is in stable condition. We're live on the West Side Highway. Jessica Schneider, CBS 2 News.